Welcome to one of Southeast Asia's best cities. A city rich with history and culture. A city that never sleeps, even in the rain. And a city full of food and attractions. Welcome to Bangkok. Good morning YouTube, my name is Tony and if you're new to the channel, hey what's up and hello. In today's video, what are we going to be doing today? We are in Bangkok, so we're going to have a bit of a tourist day and check out some of the sites and bring you along with us. And also along with that guys, we're going to be breaking down our cost for the day and showing you how you can also do it affordably and see Bangkok on a budget just like we are and we're going to be giving you all the insider tips on how to see some pretty amazing things in the city. All right, so because we're staying in like the Koh San Road area, which is where most backpackers stay, there's actually a water bus station here. So it's like one of the easy ways to get to all the temples because they're all along the river. So we uh, just walked to this station, Pra Artik, and we're gonna jump on the water bus taxi, which is about 16 baht. They do have a bigger boat that's about 30 baht, I think. So it kind of depends. And then we're going to take it all the way to Wat Arun, the first temple for today. All right, guys, welcome to Wat Arun. <laughs> Look how nice this temple is. And the better part yet is we got to take a water taxi along that beautiful river to this wonderful pagoda. Pretty grand when you're like driving on a boat up to it, yeah. Yeah, and that's not the only one. Off in the distance, I can see like maybe four other temples you can stop at as well. But let's head inside and let's take this temple in because this one is very unique. And you can even see the like the structure and how much details in it. But let's head on inside. It's a 300 old temple. It was originally built during the Kingdom of Ayutthaya. So that was where the capital was. It's kind of like outside Bangkok. And um, I think it was King Rama II decided that this was going to be like his temple, like the state's temple. So it was like the main one in Bangkok for a long time. I think before it became Bangkok. And guys, also otherwise known as the Temple of Dawn, there's a beautiful picture actually right here of the temple with the sunset. You got the long tail boats in the picture as well. But look at the detail in this temple. You can see all the little stones right there of the people. It looks like they're holding up the temple on they're their shoulders. The weight of everything of everything yeah. on their shoulders and it's pretty crazy well, guys this is the reality we're covered in sweat both Francis and I are disgusting but that's nothing new we're gonna take you to another temple and we're gonna see more Bangkok right after that I need because this guy also looks like he's over the heat as well He's just standing there like, I don't want to be doing it. <laughs> yeah, literally that. That's the place. Oh, man. Oh, they're saying it's safe to carry your bag. And it's unsafe in the front, to carry yeah. Your yeah. All right, so we have made it to Wat Po. And we are actually heading inside right now to see the reclining Buddha. So what Wat Po translates into is reclining Buddha. And apparently this is one of the largest Buddhist temples here in Bangkok. And I'm excited to show you this because I've seen pictures of the reclining Buddha and it looks massive. It's literally huge. So let's head inside now that we've found the entrance and spent the last 20 minutes walking around in this heat finding it. Let's go inside. What? They have a self-service ticket machine. Can okay. you use the machine? Okay. Merci. We're trying to be independent here, guys. Two people. You click it, the screen's all black, but you can get your tickets by self-serving yourself. Oh, okay. Just like some self-serve ice cream. Yeah. It costed 200 baht per person to get an entry ticket into Wat Pro. And it comes with free water. Even better, because I'm so thirsty. That water tasting. <laughs> That's how hot it is right now. It's kind of cool though. It's got the temple in the front. I'm gonna need the bathroom so bad if I chug all of it. We're at Wat Po. 
We're on the hunt for the big Buddha. For the, the big own. Buddha. The big Buddha. I heard you can't miss him because he's so big. <laughs> Look behind me of this backdrop right now. It's absolutely stunning in here. Everything is sparkling. Every, yeah, everything is literally everything. sparkling. The roof sparkles. The, the roof is so bright in some sections. Like, I don't know if they can I can't see, really I keep can't it, see it, but it's literally like blinding me right now. It's so bright. You see it, right? Like yeah, right there. Yeah, of course. Right there. Oh God, I yeah, you can, you can see it. that it's super white and bright and blown out. All right, we're still on the hunt to find the magical reclining Buddha that is permanently reclining for the rest of his days. Then it's not too bad of a gig, but I do think it's just down in that building over there. Uh, get the shoes off. Is that the right one? It wasn't the right one, so we're still on the hunt. Okay, let's go find it. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are a sweaty mess, but we found the missing piece too. Wat Po and it is the reclining Buddha that is permanently chilling he's permanently reclining and he's having the best time of his life and what's amazing about the structure is it's actually 15 meters high and 46 meters long so it's absolutely grand and even the building that's in the walls and everything all have really beautiful artwork on it I'm not sure how well the audio is doing with all the construction that is going on outside right now I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> we, like all humans, are pretty exhausted from the heat and just walking around those temples all day. We're debating if we should take a tuk tuk. It's a three minute tuk tuk or we walk another 10 minutes. But we're gonna walk, right? But this is a budget video. We're doing this budget. We're gonna so we're gonna walk that 10 minutes. We're gonna take a little break and then we'll be at the next location. So I, I just asked Francis like eight times in a row what are we doing because I'm so out of there right now. All right, see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Oh. <gasps> you wanna go for a nap? No, I don't nap. I'm not a napper. To take stand. Petrified. I don't know if that's how the song goes. It is not how it's 100% sure. Oh my goodness. Who's here? Oh, I don't have that color. All right, guys, we are rejuvenated Ooh. now that we got to lay in some air conditioning for a little bit there. We are going to be taking you down to Chinatown where we're going to find loads and loads of street food, some night markets, and a little bit of shopping there as well. But first, we need to get a cheap and affordable ride down there. So I think we're going to go with a tuk tuk. We're going to try a tuk tuk. We're going to try if, a tuk tuk. If it doesn't work out, we try a grab. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So if it doesn't work out, we're gonna try a grab, but there are a few tuk-tuks that way. Hello. Uh, how much to go to Chinatown? Chinatown. How much? 200 baht. Traffic jam. Evening. 200 baht? Yeah, traffic. How much? Uh, he said 200. Traffic Can you do 100? Traffic. How much you pay? 100? Okay. Okay. Run right to 150, eh? Okay. Was my instrument, so. We have made it to Chinatown. I definitely butchered the bargaining for the tuk tuk. Um, but it's really cool down here. So much energy, lots of big Chinese signs, lots of street food. I can see some vendors setting up to like sell things too, so we're gonna go check out what they got to offer. I'm very hungry. <laughs> this has got to be the coolest Chinatown I have ever gone through. Like, it's so colorful. It just screams Chinese yeah, in like your face. Yeah, like the signs are just like but perfect. We're just heading down this back street right now and look how busy it is in there. So let's see what kind of foods we can find. <laughs> biggest oh my god that's so big how much is this definitely not cheap not cheap eh? <laughs> not cheap <laughs> one in almost 1.5 and that one's even bigger this is huge jesus all right we gotta move all the way to cars again what did we spot we spotted some squid being barbecued and it looks pretty good and it's only 40 baht for one which so. is like a dollar 15 20 or something 
Want to get one to share it? I don't oh. like squid, but I'll get one and you can eat it. <laughs> okay. That's what's going on. <laughs> Got it. Finally, it took us long enough. Um, the lady was super nice and helped me, and she, the lady that was like making the order, she was like, do you want the chili sauce? Like, obviously I didn't understand it. And the lady behind me that helped me was like, you should only take a little bit. And so I was like, a little bit, and then she puts the whole oh, freaking no. spoon on. Oh my god, there's so much in there. I feel like she was just like, whatever, I don't care about you. <laughs> All right, so I don't know how spicy this is going to be. I'm a little afraid, but I think I gotta start by getting all of everything, right? So we got some cilantro here, we got a little bit of squid, and a hell of a lot of chili. Bottoms, bottoms up? Not bottoms up. <laughs> wow, it's hot. Hot or spicy hot? It's really hot. Is it good? It's very good. So it reminds me of this Mexican dip. Ceviche. Ceviche. It kind of tastes like it. It's very sweet, it's a little bit sour. But you still have that smoky barbecue flavor from the, the squid. Very good. I enjoy it. My mouth's on fire though. A little bit on fire. So Francis is deciding to man up and try it even though it might be spicy. Get the cilantro. Cilantro. I'm gonna throw it in my mouth after. No, you want it all together. All together. All, 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 all. <laughs> oh my god, you're like a rabbit. It's sweet though, right? It's zesty, you got a little bit of water, a little bit of spice. A little bit of spice. Either right, it tastes like ceviche, but yeah. holy... I can't, my tongue is swelling up. <laughs> what do you got? Gyoza. Gyoza. 55 baht for 5 pieces of pork. That's not bad. Should I do it? Do it. And Ooh. these are fat and fried. They are huge. They are freaking gigantic. <laughs> this is a good deal, guys. For my budget, is very happy. It's a good deal for you, maybe not me. This is gonna fill me up if I eat this. How hot do we reckon it is though? Uh, boiling hot. Ooh, hot? the sauce tastes like honey. Oh, Joy, oi. It's what's, meaty. What's inside of it? Pork and spring onion. Guys, we're continuing our way down Chinatown right now, but there is a storm coming our way. I'm still a little bit it's hungry. It's starting to rain yeah. just a tiny little bit. So I feel like we need to go and hurry. Because I'm still hungry. And find somewhere with seats that yeah. are covered. That, let's go, let's go. All right guys, so I got my noodles here from Chinatown. And what's in this dish is you can see that there's some wontons. There's this char sweet pork. Let's start off by putting a little bit of chili in here. And giving this the first bite, guys. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> this is so good. The tri sweet pork is glazed with something. It's not teriyaki. I'm not exactly sure what the sauce is on it, but it's sweet, a little bit tangy, very delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, kampuka. Alright guys, now that our bellies are full, we really hope you enjoyed this video because we had an awesome time in Bangkok for 24 hours and we hope this is useful for you when you come here and you only have 24 hours and if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and comment and we will see you in the next one. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return of the Mac, the king.